It's the bailout edition of Health in 2.0, and Matthew Holt is making it rain for digital health. <laughs> making it rain for <laughs> We practice. We practice. So try that again. No point like that. I think it should just cut right there. Should I try that again? <laughs> <laughs> making it rain. We practiced that for like a full five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go at my day job. I think the whole... <laughs> the yeah, you're not very good at that. It's a look easy, but we put Did real money there. Did you buy a stock that you were going to buy? Um, well, if I had bought the Teladoc stock, we seen that. Really practiced that. <laughs> I'd have a lot more because they're up like 90% over the year and the S&P is down 30%. If I only bought the Teladoc stock, and shorted Tesla, life would be much happier. Ah, if only, if only. If only, if only. If Otherwise, only. my 401k is like a, it's about a 150k at the moment. <laughs> you and everybody else. <laughs> All right, do you have your timer? We've got, um, we've got a user or a viewer question. I'm uh, but we're gonna, be, we're gonna be talking about money, right? Yeah, we're talking all about money, actually, because we've got we got no deals to cover, so we're gonna talk about everything. About money. All right, I'm ready to go. All right, here we go. You ready? Okay. 113 episodes in, and we finally get our second viewer question. Chris Hillier from New Hanover Regional Medical Center in North Carolina. Wants to know. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> he wants to know what's going to happen to all of those IPOs that were supposed to be happening this year. Do you think that they're still going to happen? Yeah, so you have like, you know, 23 Me and Oximity and American Well and a bunch of others who raised a ton of money who were thinking about going out. Uh, so I think American Well has got to be looking at Telelock and thinking, God, we've got to go soon, even though they had some issues. The rest of them, it's going to be a murky market because it, it's, it's tough to know, you know, when the stock market's up 5% one day, down 10%, up 5% every day, who the hell knows? It's such a volatile market, tough to get out. Ooh, delayed for a while, I guess. Okay, follow-up question. What does all this mean for the startups who are still looking to close rounds, finish rounds, raise new rounds? What's going to happen? Oh, it's ugly because, you know, the, the hospitals and others only care about COVID the, uh, the, right now. So, you know, it's tough for them to get deals if they're administrated. I mean, some of them are trying, we'll talk about it, are trying to do some different stuff. But it's going to be ugly for a while because the VCs don't have to price this. If you notice, the, ha the companies that buy houses, like, you know, on scale, like Zillow and others, they've stopped buying them because they don't know what the house price is anymore. So it's going to be ugly while we figure it out. All right, speaking of who's got money, hospitals now are gonna be flush with cash with this stimulus package that just got passed. 117 million go to hospitals and veterans care. Yeah, 117 billion is about, you know, eight to 10% of what they spend, what they get each year. But on the other hand, so, you know, a month or so is revenue. On the other hand, uh, there are some hospitals saying they're gonna lose a third of their revenue based on all the elective surgeries that are getting canceled. They don't know how they're gonna get paid for the COVID patients. So it's going to be ugly for those guys. I had a THCB gang earlier. We were talking about a whole series of evaluation of how we do healthcare. Uh, it's uh, some money, not enough to any more, maybe. Okay. What about COVID-19 response from startups? So it seems like everybody else in the entire world here has a COVID-19 something. What are your tactics <laughs> for the day? All right. Well, we're up. We hit the buzzer there, and I can now go on at length with this because we've got this COVID. Oh, thank God. The COVID-19 health tech site, COVID-19healthtech.com, which uh, my uh, colleagues at Catalyst have put up, got a bunch of these sites. And I'm gonna pull like two or three out of the air that I think have been interesting. So uh, the folks at Conversa Health, Russell right. Shell, Phil Marshall, uh, Mario Brzezinski and our friends, they've called a thing called coronavirus chats. They had you know, health chats, it's called coronavirus health chats. And they've been, UCSF in San Francisco has been using it very successfully. Norfolk has been using it. It's kind of like a chat bot. Should you get tested? Should you not get tested? What should you do? And you see a lot more of that. Um, Bioformis, company that moved from Singapore to uh, Boston, uh, Cal Rajput's the guy who runs that. He, uh, Indian guy, he uh, has, with his Hong Kong team, they bought like a sensor, they bought a company in Swiss that's like a arm sensor, and it can do a bunch of measurements, and they figured out using their technology and AI, a whole series of ways to think about, can we track people earlier? Of course, they have to be wearing an arm sensor, so that's one thing. Uh, another company doing that kind of analytics stuff is my friends at Surveyor Health. They've got some very early stage work looking at some of their data analyzing companies who had, who either did or, sorry, patients who either did or didn't have, uh, you know, 
a propensity to have various illnesses, what's their propensity given the amount of drugs they're on, the amount of uh, other conditions they have to actually getting very sick if they die from, um, if they have COVID and that's something. And then, uh, you know, the, the last one, there was another, a bunch of others are doing this stuff. There's a company like Anchor Health, which I know, which is doing, got some data, got some information in its chatbot again about, can you figure, can you uh, come to their site? Can you figure out where you should go for resources to to this? But there's a ton of them. Slow down there, buddy. Because, I mean, we're going to be in lockdown for a long time, all right? You can shout out every single there's start. Like, like, <laughs> on that website, there's like, a, I mean, Six of the day. Also, but there's like 100 oh, companies yeah. on the website and 100 in the queue. <laughs> Everyone's got something. So we will, I'm sure, have plenty of time to cycle through them because it's not like there are any other deals closing. So please, pace yourself, my friend. <laughs> I, I will take it slow. And Slower. <laughs> Just the way I've been doing my uh, couch to 5K running. Yes. How's it's it going? like running, but only slower. Yes, I know you're dying to tell us how you're doing. So that, tell us, go ahead. Week six, I'm still doing it every two days. Still how, far can you run? Running, yeah. how far can you run now? Uh, 22 minutes so far. Next time I have to go 25 minutes, I'm going to go about a mile. Good. Like there's a disaster unfolding in your house right now. I think it's called the child, but they're oh, very so similar. Got, there's two of them, right? It sounds like there might be only one now. of them. There's one of them and the dog. That's enough for the disaster. Oh, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we'll let you get back to that. Um, as I'm sure that you're still. Zephyr! The dog's attacking the child, so you're not going to get him on the screen. Well, don't go to the emergency. My, my advice for you there. So let's wrap this up. So for those of you who want to follow along with the exploits of that guy over there and his friends and his family and his children, um, please follow him on Twitter at Bolty Boy. I am at Jess Damasa. And of course, you can sign up to receive these episodes of Health in 2.00, along with all of our other COVID-19 coverage, which has been pretty robust, I have to say, on the healthcare blog. So kudos to everybody who's been contributing there. Just sign up for our e-newsletter and you get the best of the best from the week all sorted and sent right to you. Matthew, stay safe. I'll see you soon. The noise stopped completely. Like, that's even that's more... because I went on mute because there's just too much chaos in the background. And oh. <laughs> I'll probably, I'll cough on them and kill them all soon. Okay, great. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.